Yes, people, and welcome back to a Yorkshire Lad Talks Football, and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing really well. I would like to do this video today to express a bit of a concern of mine, and it's to do with a mass exodus of these young Chelsea talents that we've seen recently. There's four players in question, and I'm going to discuss and give my thoughts on, um, yeah, them leaving, and just the whole general feel around the club at the minute with young players leaving, um, academy stars not maybe getting a chance anymore as the word ring on the Lampard. So yeah, I'm going to break it down and give you my thoughts on them. But before I start, I would like to say a big welcome to all my new subscribers. My last video, which was on Chelsea transfer, Erling Haaland video. Again, again, quite a few new subscribers. So yeah, welcome to the channel. I'm glad to have you on the journey with me and I really appreciate it. We've actually hit 300 subscribers now. So yeah, you're all legends and thank you very much. And that leads me to say, if you are new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe and join me on this journey too. If you like football content and you like live watch alongs and stuff like that, this is the place to be. So yeah, please click that red button in the bottom right hand corner. So without further ado, let's get on with the video and the discussion about this mass exodus that's happening with Chelsea youngsters at the minute. So first of all, I'd like to say, um, let's flash back to the Lampard area. Um, we all we all knew that Chelsea had a brilliant, brilliant academy. But Lampard came in and actually decided to give these youth a chance. Yes, we were in the transfer ban and it helped the cause. But it was just brilliant to see. We know how impressive our academy is. We win tournaments, we win trophies and we win the league every season pretty much. And we finally got to see our academy players coming through under Lampard and Jody Morris. And it was amazing. I was proud to be a Chelsea fan. I was proud to see these young stars coming through and knowing that Chelsea is in their blood and we belong to them and they belong to us. And you could see the love they have for the club when they come on the field. Like of Mason Mount, Reese James, Tammy Abraham. And you can see the love Frank Lampard and Jody Morris showed to these youngsters. Obviously, Lampard took a couple of them on loan at Derby, so it helped with almost like knowing knowing the club and knowing um, which players to bring in, etc. But it was a brilliant time to be a Chelsea fan. And we thought, this is it's a change in mentality at the club. We honestly thought that. And does it now lead you to believe that youngsters may only come through Chelsea's door if Lampard's in charge or a manager... Oh, we have to be in a transfer ban, something like that. Um, does that have to come around every so often, just so we implement youth? Who knows? But, yeah, we did We did start to think there was a bit of a change in mentality at the club. Um, we saw these three stars, four stars breaking, and it was just unbelievable to see, as I've mentioned. Um, and as I've said, yeah, it was, it was a proud moment for the fans, it was a proud moment for the players, and we all united as one. And as I've mentioned, the Chelsea fans were proud, the players were proud, the management were proud, but Abramovich should have been proud too. He has spent a lot of money in that academy and trying to rejuvenate the academy and try to take it to the high levels that it is now. And he must have been proud to see these players come through and see the see the um, benefit of spending a lot of money on the academy and making it as great it is today. So Abramovich should have been very proud, but now we bring in the likes of Thomas Tuchel in. Yes, you don't blame Thomas Tuchel at all. It's not his choice, and I'm sure he will try implement youth. We've seen him do it at Dortmund with the likes of Christian Pulisic. But now we've got Lampard out the door. It does feel like um, it could go back to square one again with the fact that youngsters may not get a chance. Um, and there's a whole reason behind me making this video, and that is that four Chelsea youngsters, four of Chelsea's best youngsters from the academy are leaving are leaving which is very sad to see and it does um bring the question up thinking will the academy players ever get a chance again and will now they've seen the odd player leave like Tarek Lamptey um do they feel they can have opportunities elsewhere in the Premier League and actually start they see players going out on loan and going all right yeah they're actually doing well in the Premier League and some of these youngsters are jumping at the chance now and thinking, right, I can be starting for a Premier League team or a high-level championship team. So they're saying, let's let's benefit my career, get out the door early and continue to push up the ladder and improve my game personally. Um, so, yeah, a few players are doing it now and I think they're seeing the others do it and going, right, I can go. And the four players that have left are Lewis Bate, Daniel Simiao, I think he's called, 
Tino Livramento and Pert Harris. They're all great talents. Pert Harris, let's start with him. He went to Brentford. I think we're going to get a little bit of a fee for it, but even so, it's upsetting to see these players leave. Pert Harris was one of Chelsea's top goal scorers in the development team last year. He was a striker. He can also play midfield. Um, great player. Very tricky. Pacey and clinical in front of goal. Um, so it's very upsetting to see him leave. Brentford have got a top talent. And this is the one I'm most upset about. Lewis Bate, who is going to Leeds, has gone to Leeds for £1.5 million. You do wonder if these will come back to bite us in the arse. We've seen it with Tarek Lamptey. What a talent he's become. Um, you could even talk about Kevin De Bruyne in this aspect. Obviously, he wasn't through the academy, but we didn't give him the chance. Um, he was a young lad at the time, and look what's happened to Kevin De Bruyne now. Sales like these, sales of top, top talents who you don't give a chance to, um, they could come back to bite you in the arse for a club like Chelsea because Luis Bay, bloody hell, he's got all the talent in the world. Same with Tino Livermento. I'm going to go on to him in a minute. Luis Bay, 1.5 million to Leeds. Um, Nizar Cancelo confirmed it the other day and then Leeds went on to confirm it. Left-footed midfielder, about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, maybe even 5'6". Um, he's very small, but he's tenacious in the tackle, great at driving with the ball. Um and he's one of Chelsea's best academy players to come through the system. Um, I'm guaranteed on that, and I'm sure on that. And I know a lot of Chelsea fans respect Lewis Bay and had had him in high regards for the potential of his future. On to Simeu. He was a left-footed centre-back, um, about 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, very talented, very good aerial duels, very quick. Um, great playing out with the ball as well with that left foot. And then he was he was great in the tackle as well. He was very strong, physical and he had a lot of promise like the other two as well. Um, so it's sad to see him leave. I think we're getting another little fee for Daniel Simeau from Southampton. I think it's about 1.5 million also like Luis Bay. And then on to Tino Livramento. This is one I'm devastated about because we never really got to see him even around the first team. We got to see him train a bit. But it would have been nice to see him in like an FA Cup fixture or something. He was actually Chelsea's academy player of the season last year. 18 years old. And he's about to leave to Brighton to compete with Tarek Lamptey. Um, you know what? It was a bit of a weird move because Tarek Lamptey will start ahead of him. So I don't know why he's um, kind of gone with that one. But um, it's not the point. Tino Livermento, super talent, academy player of the season. And he could have, he could have competed with Reese James for years to come. Very quick right wing back. And he's a brilliant talent. He's a brilliant talent like a lot of these young Chelsea lads are who are leaving. So yeah. They're my thoughts. I'm very upset about this at the minute. Not very upset, but concerned. Very concerned about these super talents leaving my club and for little money and the fact that they actually want to leave. Do, do they just feel now that Tuchel's in, um, that Chelsea may not give him a chance in the future? Are they seeing a pathway to a good career somewhere else? And it's becoming worrying. It is worrying because these four have left or... About to leave in Livermento's case. Um, and there's going to be more to follow. Guaranteed. There's actually journalists who've come out and said this. So yeah. They're my thoughts on this whole situation. I hope you like the video. If you're new to the channel. Please subscribe. Drop a like. And up the chills.